I know only like a fraction of you guys watching this video will actually care about what I have to say, but I just want to talk about the fact that I'm rethinking YouTube. I basically have been making videos since I was nine. Like I've been creating content for like 10 years now. I never took a break. I always thought my success came from being consistent and I took a lot of pride in that. Um, until last week. Yeah. Last week I uploaded a video I wasn't very proud of and a lot of the comments noticed. Like, I didn't think people, I'm not that relevant, okay? Like, I didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't really expect people to comment things like, this content feels like Jade's running out of ideas. This is so not Jade. Why are you posting this? And I'm like, you guys really were able to read me and read the whole situation and, and you guys can tell when I'm not proud of a video. I basically felt last week that I posted a video just to post a video and I don't think I can continue posting content on this channel without fixing this part of me, which is the fact that I feel like I got lucky and that I don't know how to duplicate success. So the only way I'm able to keep going is just to be consistent. But I don't think that's going to work from now on. And, and here's why. So often people ask, how do you go on Instagram? How do you stand out? And what I realized is it's not about picking a niche, pick, finding that market. It's not about finding that, you know, most profitable way to, to grow. It's actually looking internally into yourself. And, and as cheesy as it sounds, it's really about what do you want to create in this world versus what, what's the most profitable way. I thought, that being vulnerable was a downfall because I was just nervous of what people, what people thought, but that's exactly how my channel grew. I, I've, I've always made, the videos that went viral, yes, had SEO, yes, had good strategy, but the videos only grew because it was a real and honest message. And sometimes you get lucky and you post a video just for, for fun, it's, it's not that deep and you just get views, right? But in order to make it sustainable and long-term, the pattern that I see is consistent is people want to see authentic creators. People want to see your thoughts, not the regurgitated Wikipedia version of your thoughts. I don't know, I guess the whole point of this awakening moment is I cannot continue making videos on a schedule, on a routine, on in a fucking niche. Like I don't even want to be like pinpointed anymore because I don't think that's what the world needs. No one fucking asked for another how to grow on YouTube channel. So I don't, I don't really need to be that person. I don't know. I feel like personally for me, I still want to make videos that are related to business and entrepreneurship. But if it's not something that I'm proud of and I will watch, I won't post it. I want to post shit when I have shit to post, right? Not just to post shit to post. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, anyways, here's the game plan. Oh yeah, you really thought this video was gonna be just shot on a webcam? Oh no, 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 I'm serious about this quality content. So to visually show you what I have planned for this channel, I need to grab some props. Here's the thing, okay? Most YouTube channels are like this bag of broccoli. Why, you might ask? Well, you know, when you first start off YouTube, it's boring. Like honestly, I could eat this, it's just I wouldn't choose it, right? If my channel's like broccoli, you know, I would not necessarily want to click on this video, but it'd be cool if I like got some nutritional value, right? But I would never like eat this broccoli for fun. Does this make sense? Anyways, I felt for the longest time my channel was just, you know, nutritional, valuable, and educational, but not fun. But that's when spices come in, right? So, you know, you have the base, but you need to spice it up if you want it to taste good. And, and I personally like to eat my broccoli with a shit ton of seasoning. We got garlic, salt, sugar, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder. And these spices represent things that give me inspiration. What I'm gonna do is take my broccoli and coat it with some spices to make this a bit more fun to eat. We're still keeping the nutritional value, just adding some spice. As I'm coating the sexy broccoli with olive oil, I think there's something to say that, you know, when you get bored with your own channel, it's important to draw inspiration from other people and other channels. Recently, I've been watching uh, two YouTube channels that really spice my life up. The first YouTube channel is not actually a YouTube channel. Uh, she's actually a politician. Her name's AOC. I recently watched this video from Vogue where she did a makeup tutorial. And you know, a, for a politician to do beauty videos, it's kind of like, you know, not very, 
acceptable. It's less powerful if you make content about makeup because it makes you girly. But she really inspired me because she's, this video is her putting on makeup, right? She's like, the, she's a fucking congresswoman. And she's putting on makeup, which in societal point of view is like weakness. And she's applying makeup while talking about things that are important to her. And that is just so badass. I've never seen that combination happen before. I just coated my broccoli with a lot of stuff. I actually forgot what I just put on here. I hope this tastes okay. The second YouTube channel that I've been watching a ton of is Damon Dominique. He is a Parisian YouTuber making videos about lifestyle. He's one of the best storytellers in the world. Damon makes a lot of like lifestyle videos, but he makes it so much more intellectual and honest. Like Damon's humor is so brutally honest. Um, it kind of hurts sometimes. Alright, so here's the deal. My name's Damon Dominique and I don't enjoy cooking. He'll talk about his dating stories and his like sex life, which is, you know, something I can't relate to. Um, but it's just so interesting to see someone talk about such a, you know, kind of mundane topic of lifestyle with a deep side, which is, you know, his personal stories. And he combines these two things together in a very artistic way and it's very inspirational. Better go put this in the oven. See, here I have my broccoli baking in the oven after coating it in some seasoning, and I was able to take something that maybe was a bit boring and make it more tasteful. Hopefully, as long as it doesn't get burned. Point is, I've been really feeling like my YouTube channel was that broccoli, and I needed more spice, and I realized I need to treat my own content in that same way. So, I'm now here, tying it all together. I know what content that I like, the creators that I watch. I know what I like about them, which is the little personality traits or things they bring to the table in their content. We're gonna put it all together and create my content strategy for the next phase of the J. Dharma Wangsa channel. What I realized is I like content that's every day. I think it's important to have content that is relatable in a sense of like, you know, an everyday makeup tutorial or a marketing video. Like I still will make business content. Some of my video ideas is to create like a marketing class, like marketing class for dummies in 10 minutes. And I just talk all about advertising and branding. I also want to make a video all about Instagram reels. I feel like that's a new feature that you guys are requesting and anything you guys want me to make, I will. I think it's important for me still to make content that's every day and a lot of people can enjoy. Yeah, I feel like that's what I'm going to keep in my content strategy. And I have a lot more videos planned in the future, but here's the part that's going to be different. I like AOC and Damon Dominique because they are brutally honest. They talk about things that are super deep and meaningful and I want to bring that level of honesty and vulnerability to my content more. Something that I've been personally very passionate about is wealth distribution and making sure that we're supporting small businesses, not just bigger corporate companies. So very passionate about free education or affordable education and everyone should be able to have access to learning. And you know, that's why I make free YouTube videos and that's why I'm so excited to launch an incubator program where we're taking any profits from X8 Media and investing it back into creators, um, which I will reveal more details. But I think I want to bring that level of honesty and talk about real world problems other than how to get more followers. I want to fuse those things together and hopefully, you know, I can watch this video and look back and I do it correctly. But I know it's gonna be hard because I know most people just care about the quick likes and followers. And I get a lot of comments of people getting angry when I talk about like deeper, more meaningful things. But honestly, I'm just gonna be like, fuck it. I don't give a shit. I personally think social media can be very frivolous and mundane and we need to add more meaning to it. And we need to use actual like social media platforms for what it's intended to, which is to actually connect with people, not just collect people. So I'm gonna be a bit more firm on so making sure I'm not making content that's just about how to make money quickly and stuff like that, because that's really far from what I want to portray on this channel. With these two values in mind, which is creating everyday content, fusing with honesty and vulnerability, this is kind of my content strategy. So this is where it kind of leads me. I think that I just want to let you guys know that Dharma Nation, I appreciate you for sticking with me for this past three year journey of being uber consistent. I only want to post videos that I think are genuinely helpful and genuinely something I'm proud of. And if it's going to take a little longer then I rather post and wait next week than to just post a shit content, you know? So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Dharma Nation, I Hope you can give this video a like if you liked it. The entire month of September is uh, actually filled with really great content. It's actually why I had so much delays because something huge is launching in September. And I can't say much about it because it's a secret project. But let me just tell you guys, 
you're gonna be blown away. So catch me on Instagram, catch me on TikTok, cause I'm gonna be posting more frequently there so I can reserve more quality content on YouTube because I'm going to reveal the big announcement on Instagram probably really soon. Go follow me there if you wanna be the first to know. Darm Nation, I freaking love you. Catch you guys in the next one and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.